down goes Duke. In an epic showdown between ACC heavyweights, the Virginia Cavaliers delivered a classic defensive performance and defeated the number seven Duke Blue Devils 52 to 50 in front of a packed house at John Paul Jones Arena. UVA gave the Wahoo faithful plenty to cheer about out of the gate as the Hoos jumped out to a nine to three lead. But the crowd was quickly silenced as Duke responded with a 15 to four run and took a five point lead. The run was sparked by the dynamic duo of Trey Jones and Vernon Carey Jr who accounted for 34 of Duke's 50 points. The UVA crowd wasn't quieted for long, as Durham native Jay Huff had the game of his career, including a pair of highlight dunks that sent the fans into a frenzy and got the Hoos back in the game. Duke tried to speed UVA up, or at least make someone other than Kihei Clark initiate the offense, which they accomplished effectively. But for the most part, Duke was forced to play UVA's game with Duke's offense, which came in averaging over 83 points per game, limited to just 25 points in the first half. Duke and Virginia went into the halftime break, knotted at 25. UVA came out sluggish to start the second half, and Duke took advantage. Jones continued to find his spot for jumpers and dropped 17 points, while Carey was a presence in the paint, scoring 17 points and collecting 10 boards. Duke jumped out to a seven point lead five minutes into the second half and threatened to break the game wide open. Fortunately for the Cavaliers, Jay Huff's incredible night included outstanding play on both sides of the court. Huff nearly notched a triple-double with 15 points, 9 rebounds, and 10 blocks, the last of which setting a series of records. Huff and Diakite's presence on the back line of the pack line helped contain Carey and keep the Hoos in the game. Diakite and Braxton Key each dropped 14 points, while Kihei Clark conducted the pick and roll beautifully with Jay Huff filling out the stat sheet with seven points, five assists, three rebounds, and three steals. As the game stayed close down the stretch, it was senior Mamadi Diakite who stepped up. Diakite could be seen telling the coaching staff that he wanted the assignment of guarding Vernon Carey Jr. without the help of a double team. Carey was held without a point for the last five minutes of the game and did not have a field goal for the last 11 minutes of the game. Diakite was called for goaltending with less than a minute to play, and the Blue Devils had a 50 to 49 advantage. Diakite immediately redeemed himself, backing down Wendell Moore and scoring the go-ahead basket off the window with just 37 seconds remaining. Duke had three chances to respond as UVA left the door open at the free throw line. The best defense in the country answered the bell each time. With less than 15 seconds to go, Carey slipped a ball screen and dove towards the basket wide open. Jones found him, but Carey was slowed by Diakite before Jay Huff recovered for his 10th and most important block, swiping the shot off the backboard to save the game. Trey Jones' desperation heave on Duke's final possession glanced off the rim, and Virginia defeated Duke at JPJ for the first time since 2013. Amazingly, the Cavaliers now sit just one game out of first place in the ACC, with a rematch with the Louisville Cardinals looming next Saturday in the regular season finale. Before then, the Hoos look to keep their six-game winning streak alive on Wednesday night in Coral Gables against the Miami Hurricanes. I'm Matt Newton, WUVA.